Well, when I made vows, I felt different. When I took my hands off the Book of Constitutions, I felt lighter and renewed in a way that I can't really describe or quantify, other than to say that I knew in making vows that God would give me the strength to be faithful to them. One of the most important and significant moments of our vows profession for me was the prostration on the ground. And this is something that is common in the rite of profession and the rite of ordination, where we lay ourselves down on the ground. And I think that's a very symbolic gesture. You're giving yourself away to the church and to God for him to do what he wants in you. My family and my friends and you know my grandparents are very supporting me before and after I take a vow. Uh, especially my mom. Uh, she's always happy and always want me to become a priest since I was a little. So it's a very meaningful day for her. There were three things that really inspired me to join the Dominican orders. The first one probably very apparent, the habit. The second one is the long-term tradition, 800-year tradition of the, the order. And the third one is the community life and the charism that the Dominican carry with them and offer them to the church. A lot of people in our generation are asking the age-old questions about what is happiness and what is the meaning of my life. And part of the reason I think God called me to be in the Order of Preachers is so that I could provide a Catholic solution to that question. I was drawn to the Dominican charism of preaching. I discovered that Dominican preaching is very powerful. It is informed by centuries of philosophical and theological tradition, which is focused on articulating the truth with clarity and richness and faithfulness to the church.